Hello everyone, this is me Brahmishit Mahapatra and today we are going to see how to use SSO functions and uh, what is SSO in cloud computing. So SSO is your single sign-on. It is a centralized session and user authentication service in which one set of login credentials can be used to access multiple applications. Its beauty and its simplicity. The service authenticates you on one designated platform, enabling you to then use a plethora of services without having to log in and log out each time. And the simple example for this is your uh, Facebook Gmail account. You just need to one time log in into your Gmail account and further you can use your same gmail account to log in into any other platform which is applicated with the gmail account you can use your gmail account to log in into your facebook account directly you can use it to log in into your instagram directly you can use to log in into many multiple platforms so this is an example of single sign on so let's see like how single sign on works like how to create users how to create groups in it how to access control how to give global permissions to the to the groups or the users we have created so for this you need to first sign in as a sso administrator so for this you what you need to do is the pass the password would be same and you need to Login as administrator at the rate vSphere dot local. Make sure the password is same and you just need to click on login. So here you can see that you have logged in as vSphere administrator now. So now what we need to do is we need to create a user. Okay. So what we need to do is go to the menu. Then as we are administrator now, we have to go to the administration option. Yeah, wait. Yeah, cool. Administration. And now what we need to do is we need to create a user and then we need to create a group so for creating a user we need to go to the single sign on uh, here you can see there is an option of single sign on user and groups now you can see that there are many local users available from before also and make sure you don't delete any of these as the whole system would give a lot of errors after that so make sure you don't uh, delete any of these now what we need to do is we need to create a user okay so first of all go to the domain and we need to select vSphere local okay and in the domain of vSphere local we need to create a user so click on add user okay see now you can see that uh, the administration dot uh, other corporal uh, is already provided the password is already provided and uh, you can just yeah done now first name so let us keep the first name as uh, hol admin Or we could simply write as um, HOL. Then admin. This would be better. For email ID, you need to use HOL admin 
at the rate vSphere dot local the description is optional you can uh, Uh, why is it showing us? Hmm. Yeah, so let's do one thing, just keep it as actual admin. Yeah. Now add. So you can see here that um, we have created a user with the name actual admin and the first name is actual, the last name is admin and we have provided an email id and uh, in the domain of vsphere.local now let us just create a group for this okay so what you need to do is go to the group add groups and then add group you need to first mention the group name so uh, let us keep the group name as uh, hol admin group and uh, we know that uh, our user our member is in the domain of vSphere.local so here you need to choose vSphere.local and then in the search option what you need to choose is the name the username which you have allocated before so hol and here is your user you can cool so now your member is already added and suppose um, if you have got some questions like um, you need to create a group of ad administrator networks in which um, there are two members from different domains so, so in that case what you need to do is like suppose we have one member in this from the domain of vSphere local and uh, Suppose uh, I need to create, I need to add another member from another domain. So let's take this as example. So I choose this one and um, let's write we. So here are the members present in uh, corp.local. So we can choose any, let's choose this one. So this is how we could um, add members from different domain you can add more domains more members in the group so for now we don't need this one and uh, we only need to add this as a member of this actual admin group so done now add uh, and now for viewing this you need to you can see that uh, there are total uh, 23 users and uh, for this you need to move to the last of the page for the first time and uh, you can see here is your group already created and when you open it you can see that here is your member present and the best thing about this is that um, you can add members during creation or you can add members even after creation suppose now i need to add another member to the same group which i have created that is actual admin group so what i need to do is just open this one then again add member and uh, group name is already predefined default as 
on uh, it was open and then I have clicked on add member so and this time suppose I need to um, add another member and uh, let it be yeah let it be this one so now save this time you would get the option of save so you can see that in actual admin group now we have two members one is from domain of vsphere.local actual admin and one is from corporal.local that is vc so this is how you use the user and group function in single sign on and uh, suppose you need to check the global permissions so here you could check the global permissions and uh, everything is present here suppose you want to give some global permissions to any of the user or the group which you have created you can go to the global permissions in here in the administration and then click on the add function then suppose um, I need to give the global permission to the group which I have created recently so just go to the global permission group and then um, this one is your user ID so this is your user not the group our uh, group was actual admin group uh, this one was our group and um, suppose I want to give the role of administrator so I could give the role of administrator and there are many more suppose uh, you want to give the role of read only so what happens in read only is that uh, one could view the insights or uh, the functionalities of the group but cannot but cannot edit or um, do any changes in that so this is the thing happens in read only and we need to click on administrator because administrator have the right to edit to view to change anything he wants to uh, then okay so this is how you give the global permission and suppose you want to give the global permission to the user so same thing you need to do go to the global permission click on add then now uh, here you can write the name of the user so this one is a user suppose I need I want to give the user um, read only role and done so this is how you give the global permissions and uh, for checking purposes you can check here uh, if you see uh, uh, first of all you need to select this one vsphere.local then you can see here that um, we have given the actual admin group as administrator role and we have given the user actual admin as read only role so this is how it is done and uh, we are done with this thank you